It was a normal Friday night in Glasgow, Scotland. Clubs were clearly visible. The bright lights and the blaring noise dominated the night. But with the light, there was also darkness. There was one almost abandoned house that stayed where nothing was there and everything was silent. Almost as if a bubble had been wrapped around in direct directed house block. No one went there because it was dark and eerie. Even during the day, a permanent gray cloud seemed to hang over it. Even the birds didn't seem quite there. But tonight, someone was going over there. A 12-year-old boy named Jack, who had snuck out at 11 o'clock at night to go over to this place with his friend, 13-year-old Patty. The two boys climbed over the rust and fence. Patty had a flashlight, but due to the low battery, it was very dim. They followed the bush clearing to the housing estate, and it was pitch black. They emerged from the clearing to see a, low, a long row of brick houses. In the eerie silence, they walked towards the alley in between two of those houses. The flashlight wasn't going to last much longer, and then they would have to entrust only the dim glow of a half moon to guide them. They went into the alleyway, Jack first. They found a dumpster and looked at the ground to see a red substance had stained the ground leaving a trail which led behind the dumpster. Jack checked it out and immediately gasped with shock. Patty, taken by surprise, ran out of the alleyway. It's a dead body. Oh my God, what are we going to do? Jack screamed, barely squeezing the words out through his state of sheer panic. Sure enough, a dead body lay there, headless. It lay there. It had been excavated, disemboweled, mangled, and cut up in every possible way. Jack looked towards Patty, expecting some sort of reaction, but Patty wasn't listening. He was already too concentrated in what was behind Jack. Watch out! The knife cut into the side of Jack's neck, and blood poured out. Not the geyser that you see in the movies, but it steadily poured down his neck onto his shirt. Jack fell onto the ground, motionless. Patty shone his light onto the creature that had just killed his best friend. He had a black hooded shirt on, with long sleeves on the t-shirt and had an upside down Illuminati pyramid symbol printed on it. Also printed were words, run, fight, but there's nothing you can do. You can be sure though that Smiley is coming for you. The creature also wore a pair of black jeans, but most distinct feature were certain was its face. Blood red as if someone had read the skin from its face and slightly glowing blue eyes. The creature's mouth was also fixed into a permanent yellow cross smile, which stretched across up to its eyes, but Patty can only see for a few seconds, and then his light completely ran out, shrouding the alley in complete darkness. His best friend's body was dragged further in, and was swallowed by the darkness. Patty covered his ears as the creature let out an ear-piercing fit of hysterical laughter. Patty dared to take a few steps into the darkness, and then the creature took him. With blinding speed, the creature rushed towards him and stabbed Patty in the neck and held him up like a piece of meat. Patty took one last gaze into the creature's eyes. The creature once again laughed hysterically, but this time Patty could, co could not cover his ears and blood began draining from his ears as they succumbed to the pressure and Patty slowly and painfully succumbed altogether. The smiling man had claimed its next victims, but they surely would not be the last.